welcome back to the field here. I'm Brad Eaton, host of the Dirt Podcast. We're back here at Day Air Ballpark, and today I'm joined to take a trip around the horn by Dragons pitcher Joe Boyle. Joe, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, let's take a walk here. So you've had a heck of a start to the season uh, on our pitching staff. I think your ERA was sub-zero, although you said that's something you're not, uh, you're not paying attention to right. as, a, as a player. But obviously the fans are watching, right? So tell me about how this season's gone. Where, where do you think you're finding your success from? Uh, I think it's really been like carving out my routine, my process this season. Um, just working on like getting as consistent as possible on the mound. I uh, kind of know what kind of pitcher I am and mm -hmm. you know what leads to success and it's just like hammering that over and over again and uh, obviously getting better at the stuff that I'm not good at but uh, just being really good at what I am good at. Right that's, that's and so that's what you are good at a lot of people are talking about like real high velocity kind of right, stuff. Right. I think that chasing the strikeout has been like the biggest thing for me this season. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's kind of like led to a lot of the like results on the field um, and that's also helped me like carve out my routine uh, away from pitching so that you know I, everything I do is around like feeling good on the mound and uh, and striking guys out. So when you say chasing the strikeout give us a little more insight into what that looks like right when you're on the mound guy comes up you know fresh new batter how are you approaching him how are you attacking that guy? Well I think that it's l looking at which pitch in my arsenal is most likely to, to strike them out and working backwards from there. Okay. Um, the goal is to obviously to have as many strikeout pitches as possible so um, you know, when in doubt, if that pitch isn't working, you go to a different strikeout pitch and in, in, in location it plays best. Um, and then just like, just picking the right pitch at that point, you just throw it to the zone that it plays best and just picking the right pitch and the right count has really been, is really the only focus when I'm out there. So when you say work backwards, you're actually thinking a couple of pitches ahead then to work back and like, what do we need to start this guy to, to set him up sort of thing? Generally, yeah. I think, you know, obviously you take it one pitch at a time, you focus on that pitch at hand. Um, and obviously the bat doesn't play out always the way you predict it to. <laughs> Such um, is life, right? Yeah, exactly. But you know, you, you like, you have a plan going in and then you adapt to when things change basically. Yeah, so we're getting ready to hit the, uh, the stretch part of the season here, right? And everybody talks about the dog days of summer. Right. For baseball players, especially for pitchers, what does that mean for you, right? Like, what are you focusing on here in the back half of the season? Uh, really just taking the ball every time they ask me to. Um, I think baseball is a very long season and, uh, you know, being durable and, and pitching as much as possible is, is really like the most important thing and being healthy. So focusing on my health, obviously right now is the most important thing. Uh, also just consistency, you know, like baseball, you see a lot of the same teams over and over again. And uh, it, if you can just, find a way to get them out in different ways or, or you know, keep them off balance and, and get the job done, and then, then that's all you can ask for. Good, well hey, we wish you nothing but luck for yeah. the best of the Thank season. You. Keep up the great work and keep moving up that ladder. Thank you.